so hello my dear students and learners in my previous video in placement diary i have discussed about the basic concepts of pointers with the help of some programming now today i am going to discuss a very important topic and the name of the topic is the relation between pointer and 1d arrays okay so please let's have a look on the board now i am declaring an integer array a having size 5 and in this array I am assigning five different integer values 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. Okay, so I am initializing this array with this five value. Now after declaring this array, after executing this statement by the C compiler, what will happen? The C compiler will reserve memory in the RAM. Okay, so now I am draw, I will draw the memory map of this 1D array. Okay. So this is the memory map suppose the name of the array is a so here the name of the array is a and integer takes four bytes of memory so in this array five integer values are there so five integer value will take five for the 20 bytes of contiguous memory because you know that memory is allocated for an array in contiguous location always so it will allocate 20 bytes of contiguous memory Okay, now suppose the allocation is starting from 1000 to 1. Now we are assuming it, it may be any other address. So 1001 to 1020, so this 20 bytes will be reserved for this array. Now the first 4 bytes, that is 1001 to 1004, this 4 bytes will be reserved for the first element. Then 1005 to 1008, that will be for second element. Then 1009 to 1012 will be for third one, then 1013 to 1016 will be for fourth element, and 1017 to 1020, the last four bytes, that is 17, 18, 19, and 20, the last four bytes will be reserved for the last element. Now, you know that array index always start from zero, whatever be the size of the array, it will always start from index zero. Okay, so here five elements are there, so the last index will be five minus one, that is four, and the element we have already mentioned, that is 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. So this will be the exact memory map of this 1D array. Now if we only mention the name of the array. So what is the name of the array? Name of the array is A. Now here A is name of the array is A and it is also the it is also the base address of this array. So whenever you are just mentioning the name of the array, whatever be the dimension of the array, it may be one dimensional array, it may be two dimensional array, whatever, whatever be the dimension, if you are just mentioning the name of this array, it will always give you the base address of this array. And what is the address? Here base address means the starting address of this array and here it is 1001. So the value of A is 1001. Okay, so you can write the value of A is 1001. Now, what is the first element of this array? First element of this array is a of 0. Now if we want to find the address of the first element, you know the ampersand is the operator which is called address of operator. So if we put ampersand in front of a0 that it will fetch the address of the a0 that means address of the first element and it is also 1001 because from this location the first element is also getting stored. So it is also 1001. So from this two equation you can easily understand the meaning of a and ampersand of a0 that is the address of the first element are same okay now if we put an asterisk symbol in front of both the equation then what will happen it will have now we can write that ampersand of a it is what 1001 so a is equals to ampersand of a0 is equals to 1001 now if we put asterisk symbol in front of all this equation then it will become asterisk of a is equals to asterisk of ampersand of a0 and it will be asterisk of 1001 we are just putting one asterisk symbol just before the equations then what will happen so we can write down that asterisk of a will be simply now here look at this equation asterisk ampersand in my previous video i have told you that one asterisk and one ampersand will cancel each other so it will simply be a of 0 and what is this this is asterisk of 1001 now asterisk is a value at 
address operator so whenever you're putting an asterisk symbol in front of any address it will fetch the value from that address so asterisk of 1000 means it will fetch the value from 1001 that means value present at 1001 and look at this figure what value is present in 1001 that is 10 so it is 10 so this is very important statement that asterisk of a is nothing but a of 0 that is the first element and the value of the element is 10 okay now asterisk of a is equals to a of 0 we have got asterisk of a is equals to a of 0 now can we not write down this equation as asterisk of a is equals to asterisk of a plus 0 a can be written as a plus 0 because we are just adding 0 so nothing will be changed and it is equals to a of 0 now if we write that asterisk of a plus 1 so what will be the value asterisk of a plus 1 will be simply a of 1 now we'll check how the asterisk of a plus 1 is giving us a of 1 so first we have to know what is a plus 1 so a plus 1 what does it mean here a is the address of the base address of this array that is 1001 so you can understand that here the name of the array that is a is storing the address so definitely a is a pointer so array name whatever be the dimension array name itself is a pointer and it is a constant pointer that means its value cannot be changed okay that means you cannot assign any other address that means you cannot assign 2001 to a no because it is the ad, it is the base address of an array that means its value will never be changed so it will remain as 1001 during the entire life cycle of the program so a that's why a is a constant pointer okay now 1001 plus 1 so it will it will not be like a simple arithmetic operation okay simple arithmetic addition rather you have to keep these things in your mind that you are incrementing a pointer so it will follow the pointer arithmetic so whenever you incrementing in pointer here what is 1001 1001 is a base address of an integer array that means it is a pointer to an integer so whenever you are incrementing an integer pointer it will be incremented by 4 bytes because integer takes 4 bytes so how it will happen it will implies 1001 plus 1 multiplied by size of integer now size of integer means 4 bytes so 1001 plus 1 multiplied by 4 means it is 4 so this implies 1005 okay now we want to find asterisk of a plus 1 so asterisk of a plus 1 means it is asterisk of a plus 1 means asterisk of 1005 that means value present at 1005 so which value is present at 1005 20 so it is 20 so definitely we can write it is nothing but a of 1 so finally we have got that asterisk of a plus 1 is nothing but a of 1 so this is also a very important statement asterisk of a plus 1 is equals to a of 1 okay now we have already obtained that asterisk of a plus 1 is equals to a of 1 we have got asterisk of before that we have got asterisk of a plus 0 is equals to a of 0 now in this way if we write down asterisk of a plus 2 it will become a of 2 then asterisk of a plus 3 will become a of 3 and finally asterisk of a plus 4 will be a of 4 okay now what is a it is 1001 so this is your a or you can write it is also a plus 0 because a and a plus 0 are same what is 1005 it is a plus 1 that means we are incrementing a by 1 by 1 means by 4 bytes so 1001 plus 4 it will be 1005 so it will be a plus 2 we are incrementing a by 2 incrementing by 2 means 4 to the 8 bytes so 1001 plus 8 it will be 1009 Similarly, a plus 3, that means 1001 plus 
3 4 जे 12 1001 प्लस 12 मीन्स इट इज 1013 एंड a प्लस 4 द एड्रेस ऑफ द फर्स्ट लास्ट एलिमेंट ऑफ दिस एरे दैट इज a is 1001 and plus 4 means plus 16 bytes it will be incremented like that so 1017 so these are the address so whenever you are writing asterisks of a so here a plus a plus 0 a plus 1 a plus 2 a plus 3 a plus 4 these are the address okay now asterisks means you are fetching the value from that address so asterisks of a plus 0 means it is asterisks of 1001 so it is simply a0 that is 10 and it is 20 asterisks of a plus 2 meant that, that means value presented 1009 asterisk of 1009 that is a2 that is 30 now asterisk of a plus 3 that means asterisk of 1013 that is 40 that is the fourth element of this array and last the last element that is value presented a plus 4 that is value presented 1017 that is asterisk of 1017 and that is a4 and that is simply 50 okay so in general, if we generalize all these five equations, what can we write? We can write that A of i is nothing but asterisk of asterisk of A plus i. So this is a very important equation because whenever we write A of i, actually compiler internally converts A i into asterisk of A plus i. Now, asterisk of a plus i, look at this word very carefully, asterisk of a plus i, it can also be written as asterisk of i plus a, okay. Now, a plus i and i plus a, it is a commutative property, that means x plus y is equals to i plus a. So, we can also write asterisk of a plus i is equals to, so both of them are same. Now, the question is, if asterisk of a plus i can be represented as a of i, asterisk of a plus i can be represented as a of i so why asterisk of i plus a cannot be represented as i of a it is equal so if we combine all these equations what can we write we can write that a of i is nothing but asterisk of a plus i it is also equals to asterisk of i plus a and since a asterisk of a plus i can be represented as a of i so similarly i plus a asterisk of a plus a will definitely be represented as i of a and that this is a very very important equations so what can you write you can write that a of 0 is equals to 0 of a it is the same similarly you can also write a of 4 is equals to 4 of a and that is the beauty of the 1d array having pointer in relation okay so these two are very very important please keep these things in your mind okay now we are now we will print some statements and we will check the output of this statements okay now i am executing a loop for example for int i is equals to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus so this loop will iterate from i from the for the value of i equals to 0 to less than 5 minus 0 to 4 so it will iterate 5 times now i am executing a print statement so person d person d person d person d so four value will be printed integer value now what are these value this value are a of i then asterisk of a plus i then asterisk of i plus a and finally i of a so these four values will be printed inside the loop so what will be the output when this loop will iterate when the value of i will be 0 what value will be printed a i that means a of 0 so that is a of 0 means first element 10 so the 10 will be printed four times because all these notations are equal we have just proved it okay similarly in this way it will print all the values of this array one by one 10 20 30 40 and finally when the value of i will be i will be 4 index will be 4 then it will print the last element that is a4 and what is a4 that is 50 so 50 will be printed four times so that will be the output okay so my students i have I, I i can assume that you have understood this concept of or relations of pointers on one dra very clearly still if you have any doubt any question you can 
put it in the comment box i'll definitely try to answer okay so thanks for watching please take care have a nice day thank you